from 300 horsepower to 3,000. Hey everyone, it's Glenn, your guest host for the day. Take a ride with us for the next few minutes and check out these 10 amazing vehicles and their huge engines. Number 10. Our number 10 has a 200 horsepower V8 engine which has been thought of as the last V8 of its time. It was built right after Christmas in 1905 and known as one of the first true V8 engines to be seen. Incredibly, this vehicle was the first petrol car to travel at 2 miles a minute and went on to beat the land speed record of 110 miles an hour. It was built in France with the sole aim to break speed records and was shipped to the U.S. shortly after to do just that. It has no body panel since early 20th century consumers weren't concerned with aerodynamics, but only weight reduction and huge engines. Number 9 Sunbeam Motors began in 1901 with one of its first productions being the Mably, a 12-horsepower four-cylinder. The company was also known for manufacturing aero engines during the First World War. That is how the 1920 Sunbeam race car received its excellent engine. It had a 350-horsepower water-cooled V12, with its main objective being to beat the land speed record, which it did more than once. The fastest speed it ever recorded was 151 miles per hour, which is truly spectacular for its time. The Sunbeam engine had a very long gear ratio of 1.5 to 1 and only weighed one and a half tons, which was very lightweight for such a powerful engine. Number 8 This beast of a machine began its life as a 1908 Fiat SB4 chain-driven Grand Prix car. The engine used no less than 18 liters. Sadly, one of its cylinders exploded in the middle of a race and shortly lost its appeal. It wasn't until 1923 that the vehicle had received an almost complete overhaul. They slapped an A12 Fiat airship engine into it, which was a six-cylinder liquid-cooled inline single overhead camshaft engine. After some heavy modifications to the vehicle, the engine was increased with four valves per cylinder, 24 spark plugs, and two carburetors. With this overhaul, it had a full 320 horsepower at 1800 RPM on a 5 to 1 compression ratio. This monster of a machine debuted at the end of 1923 for the first time ever and reached a top speed of 146 miles per hour, breaking the half a mile record. Number 7 The Brutus by BMW is what you would call a gas guzzler. The 5,600-pound monster powered by a 550-horsepower V12 engine only manages 0.18 miles to the gallon and drinks through almost 7 gallons of fuel over a 1.2-mile sprint. We sincerely hope anyone driving this beast will never get too far away from the gas pump. The Brutus was built between the years of 1998 to 2006 and constructed its body out of a 1908 American La France. The La France had a V12 engine created from an airplane after the Treaty of Versailles in World War I. In 1925, it found its way into the hands of BMW, who held onto the engine until the Brutus was constructed. Number 6 This one-off build is a water-cooled 550-horsepower engine with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. This race car was a single-seater produced for vintage racing. It was originally built on a Sunbeam chassis, but after a serious accident, was rebuilt on a 1929 Bentley chassis. The chassis by Bentley ended up breaking the land speed record of 143 miles per hour in 1935. Being a W12, the engine had three banks of four very large stub exhausts, one of which points straight out of the side of the car. 
Due to the immense torque of the engine, 1,400 foot-pounds, the rear tires can be made to produce clouds of smoke whenever the car is launched. Number 5 Was built with a 675 horsepower water-cooled V12. This car, which used the Duesenberg Model J rolling chassis and standard wheelbase, had a dropped front axle for better aerodynamics. The highly tuned engine added high-performance parts, like the ram's horn twin carburetor inlet manifold. In the search for higher speed, they modified the car by replacing the Duesenberg with a Curtis aircraft engine, which included specially made parts to connect the engine to the drivetrain. Behind this 675 horsepower monster, Ab Jenkins, the owner, began breaking records in 1936. Anyone driving this machine, though, would have to be careful due to the combination of the V12 and almost stock Duesenberg chassis, which caused understeer at high speeds. Number 4 The Special's air-cooled V12 is equipped with 810 horsepower in 1,600 foot-pounds of torque. This ridiculous car has the nickname The Tank, and we can see why. Because the engine used was pulled from an AV 1795B tank and has a custom hand-formed aluminum body. The engine alone weighs as much as a Volkswagen Beetle, which makes up most of the weight of the car. At 9,500 pounds, it is 1 11th the weight of the original tank. It doesn't stop there. It is also twin turbocharged. Not surprisingly, this car is owned by Jay Leno, so you know it will be taken care of. Though Jay has updated some of the features to his liking, including the electrical system, brakes, gearbox, fuel line, and turbos. Come on, baby. Number 3 The engine on this Rolls-Royce was finely crafted to have 900 horsepower with 1550 foot-pounds of torque on a water-cooled V12 engine. The fuel consumption of this equates to 3 miles to the gallon. <laughs> wow! This beast was built on a Rolls-Royce Phantom chassis and 27-liter Merlin engine originally fitted to the Hawker Hurricane and Spitfire aircrafts during World War II. It has a supercharger that uses forced induction, with a handmade aluminum body, of course. This, of course, is historical. The design of the engine combines style and speed, blending history with cutting-edge technology. Number 2 Our number 2 comes stocked with 1,500 horsepower in a water-cooled 2,000 foot-pounds of torque V12. The creator, Chris Williams, also creator of the Napier Bentley, debuted this one-off vintage racing car in 2010. The Packard was built on a 1930 Bentley 8-liter chassis. The American-built Packard 1A2500 engine came from an airplane and comes standard with 24 exhaust pipes, reflecting its engine twin port design. It had a displacement of 42 liters and a steering column that is offset and angled to allow it to clear the huge engine block. With it being fast as heck with the flat black paint, I would have called it the Batmobile. Number one. This pickup is very iconic in being owned by Jay Leno. Dang, he has all the cool cars. This Plymouth just looks fantastic to start. Its raw steel body is dotted with rivets, and rising out of the open engine bay is a halo of finned cylinders. This beautiful row of cylinders came directly off an old 1959 Cessna seaplane. The engine measures in around 757 cubic inches with seven cylinders and 14 spark plugs. It produces around 300 horsepower. Even though it had been sitting in a junkyard for years, surprisingly, the engine just started right up as if new. 
Once the Plymouth had been heavily modified to fit this massive engine was just the start of their works. They had to connect the propeller shaft to a custom cog pulley system to the front of the transmission to even get it working. But now that it's all running smoothly, the trans thinks it's running a small block and it drives fantastically. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.